Hello, everybody, and welcome to Travel Reporting for the second summer session. Uh, this is just going to be, I'm going to try to keep this video quick, and it's really just an orientation to the course, but, but more so the, the Moodle page for the course. So I um, assume that everybody knows this class is both a W and it's a D, okay? So the W meaning it's, and honestly, I'm not sure why they chose W, but um, it's an online only course and it so you can be anywhere taking the course as long as you can get um, onto the Moodle page several times a week um, which is why it works well for people who are might uh, be traveling and um, so that there also are no set times like there's no set zoom um, time or anything like that meeting time you just have to arrange your own schedule so that you're able to Come to the Moodle site several times a week um, and do the weekly tasks um, on your own time um, when it best suits you. Um, and then starting last year, it's also a DIA diversity course, and I'll talk to you um, about a few ways that we, um, or, or the assignments that make it a diversity course as well. Um, for, okay, and then I have this big um, ugly red notification just to make sure that you are getting um, my emails um, because I am sending emails um, at least one a week if not several a week and if you aren't getting those emails it means um, it's not because I'm not sending them it's because they are not getting through maybe they're in your your junk mail um, so for the first week of the course um, week one there's a lot of different tasks and so mainly what i want to do in this video is tell you what to do um, in week one as you can see there's only six tabs here so i'm trying to make it really streamlined and uh, easy for you to see the fact that the last tab um grading rubrics isn't part of the schedule it's just where um the assignment rubrics where, where i grade the assignments live and they have to be somewhere on the Moodle page in order to go into the gradebook. So it's a technical aspect, but it's also here for you to see. So if you want to know, um, like one of the, the first major grade is the blog setup and um, your first two posts. So you can click in here and you can see how I'm going to be grading it and, um, and what I'm looking for. So I'm using this rubric here and you get some certain number of points. So if you got full points on each one of these, that would translate into 100% um, for that grade. Um, and like A's, B, A, A's, B's, and C's and all that stuff don't really come into the grading until the very end, of course, when I have to, if you have a 94% a overall total, then I convert that into an A um, when I submit your, your final grade. Um, so you should re refer back to these, um, or refer a couple times to these grading rubrics just to see you know, um, how's the professor going to be? Um, what, what's the professor looking for in terms of this assignment? Uh, but all the, the uh, these others, the first five, are for um, the weekly tabs, what you should be doing each week. So obviously that week you focus on that tab. Um, and as you can see, um, well, one of them it lasts for two weeks. So this course only lasts six weeks. So, um, and in fact, one course um, is considered pretty much a, a, a full load. So um, there's more work packed in. I mean, honestly, I have um, modified the course from if I was going to teach it in the fall. For example, if I was going to teach it in the fall or spring, you would have to write 16 blog posts. And for in the summer, you have to um, write 12. So I've taken out some things just because realistically, um, it would be hard to cram all that all, all that content and all the assignments into just six weeks. But just keep in mind, you only have six weeks. And um, so this, in terms of the amount of work you have every week, this class is going to be more work than just one of your regular semester, fall or spring courses, um, because we're, we're supposed to cram all of the um, assignments into that six weeks, which is, which is hard to do. Um, so let me go back again. I want to focus in this assignment, uh, this video, just on what to do 
um, the first week. Obviously, um, there's some things. I'll get back to this um, intro video. Check out the syllabus, but really, the syllabus is in most ways um, recreated in the Moodle, um, the Moodle page. And then this, um, this tab or this um, page here, course schedules and deadlines, it just kind of reiterates everything as you go along, um, the whole schedule. So you might want to just refer back to this um, if you're kind of confused or you're having trouble like um, thinking between the different tabs. Well, all the major assignments or deadlines are here. Um, August 24th is the last day of the course, and so that is the, the final hard deadline for everything to be turned in. Um, you can get partial credit on um, assignments that were already due, you know, a week or, or more before. Um, so always, um, so, and I'm not the kind of professor that will give you a zero in, in a an assignment, unless you don't turn it in past that that hard deadline, the 24th. So on the 24th, I need to get going and, and start um, grading and turning in uh, the final grades. Um, and that, this is actually wrong. It's supposed to be 12 plus. So I'll go through um, and change that. But anyway, so this is the, the full schedule if you want to use that as a, um, as a reference. But you can also just go through, and you're going to need to go through week to week the different tabs. So right now is Monday and we just started on week one. So this is kind of like the intro week um, getting oriented but it's also you need to make your your actual public travel blog and your tra personal travel blog is the by far the main assignment. It's worth um, 40% of the final grade. Actually, I think I might have updated uh, up, up to the 50%. Um, and you're going to be writing 12 uh, full-length journalistic, um, and we'll talk about some of the ways um, that travel um, blogging, travel as, as journalism is a little different than other genres of writing. Um, you'll be doing that in week two, learning more about that. Um, but 12 full articles where you're, you're talking about a distinct travel experience, whether it's a, um, going to a restaurant, going to a museum, um, going on a hike, or um, lots of different um, options there. Um, and I'll get into that. So let's just talk about, and so one thing about this tab also is that um, don't get a little bit overwhelmed because as you scroll down, you get information for the whole blog assignment, which again lasts the whole six weeks. So it's all, you, you don't have to write any assignments or any blog posts until um, by the end of the, the second week. Um, and uh, so these guidelines here are the general guidelines for the whole um, blog assignment. So it's, it's telling you, for example, that each article should be, about 300 um, words long, um, 300 to 350 plus um, journalist uh, focus. So I mean, I, I'm not. It's not. This is not like a um, a copy editing course. So I'm not going to be looking really close for grammar mistakes. But if I see a grammar mistake when I'm just reading through, focusing more on your writing, um, then I'll note it, and and you'll get a ding on your grade. Um, but um, but that's not the focus. Grammar is not the focus. But you do need to edit. So um, you know sometimes I have students coming through this course and they don't even bother to edit. It should be edited a couple times. You know, so you're putting. And again, this is also you're putting this out for the public. I mean, more than likely, not that many people are going to be reading it, other than your friends and family people you tell about it, just because that's the way web pages work. Um, but, you know, it is out in the public, and then it's also for a grade. So, um, you know, put your, your best foot forward and uh, have high standards, please. Um, all the blog posts should have photos. But anyway, I have a, a video that talks all about all this stuff, another video. So I, I don't want to get into that. And then you have um, the di diversity. One of the main diversity components is that half of your blog posts, so six of them, have a specific kind of prompts, a, a type of thing you need to write about, like a um, diversity-focused food experience. Um, and so each one of these going down the line, make sure you hit each one of them um, for one of your blog posts. It could be any of the blog posts out of the 12. It's up to you. Um, and, 
and also I have a video that talks a little bit more about this, so I don't want to get it too much into that. But just know that this is where the description of the whole blog assignment is in this first tab. Um, then I have a couple videos I want you to watch. I apologize for this first week having a lot of videos, including this one that's just the, the quick orientation. Um, this video is a, a pretty long video that I did last year. It's about 30 plus uh, minutes. And, um, and I decided to keep it because in the middle of the video, I go through um, a bunch of former blogs that students have written and I talk about them and what they did well. And so that's, I think it's really important for you to see what other students have done and, and like try to understand and go, what is this blog that, that I'm creating? And I talk about that. So just to know that at the beginning of the video, you'll see a Moodle page that has different dates. And that's essentially the only difference. Um, this is from last semester, and this was also the, uh, a diversity. Uh, that was the first time I did the diversity for um, travel reporting. Um, so it, everything is the same. There's only one other difference, and that is I'm asking you to sign up for a discussion group that will be used for several assignments. And uh, I used to use a wiki tool. Um, you might or might not know that Loyola updated the Moodle software. And so it looks like these the Moodle course pages look different and also professors some several things are, are different and the wiki tool um, I think is terrible in the, in the new version but luckily in order to sign up for something there's a good tool called choice. So right down here at the bottom of the tab are two things that you need to do. Um, the first one is to sign up for a discussion group um, and so there are um, four of them, Group Gray, Group Green, Crab, Hound. You can see that um, Group Green is really popular. It's already full up, and um, there's, so the limit is six. So you just have to be in a discussion group. Um, and the discussion group are, are used for several things, like looking at each other's blogs and giving some feedback um, and one other assignment. So it's just important that at the very beginning, you know which group you are in, and that's all this tool is for. Um, and then when you actually start doing the assignments that um, require the discussion group, then the, the, um, the actual forums are going to be in weeks three and four discussion and reading activity just because that's the major activity that, that the groups are for. But e there's going to be a forum for each one of those four groups in this tab, the weeks three and four. Um, and then the other thing you need to do in week one is to introduce yourself to the whole class including myself um, obviously kind of one of the, the major limitations of teaching uh, or having an online only class is that we don't see each other it's not the same type of um, interaction which is one reason why I like to make the video so you can see my face um, and hear my voice and, and things that we um, are used to in a face-to-face -face class and so the last thing I want you to do in this first week, and again, it could be any time in the week, um, is come down to the very bottom and go to introduce yourself to the class and, and myself in Flipgrid. So if you haven't used Flipgrid, um, it goes through our Microsoft accounts, which are um, our Loyola email runs on uh, Microsoft Outlook. And so you log in through Microsoft. Um, you say, yes, I'm doing a work account. Um, hopefully you already kind of have it queued up for your password through Loyola. And then here we are. So um, I'm just asking you um, to, well actually the, I need to update this prompt. So this is the their generic prompt on, on the Loyola, on our um, Moodle page. It says that I want you to just talk about um, what you're doing this summer, like, and if you're traveling, like, where you're based out of the summer, and what it, some of your um, ideas are for traveling, or if you already have something planned, um, and what you think you want, want to write about. You just hit record here, um, and it will use your camera to record uh, on your laptop to record yourself. And this only needs to be one minute, so just talking really briefly, saying, hey, and you can tell us your major if you want. I assume most of you are communication majors, but maybe some aren't. Um, and, uh, and what you're going to be doing this semester. So that's all I'm looking for. Um, and you can even do this through a, um, 
a cell phone as well. And you, if your camera's not working, you could even do it that, that voice only um, recording too. Um, we'll be using the Flipgrid also um, in the week five, where you're going to read um, for every person in your group, whichever group you're in, you're going to read a few of their blog articles and give them a little bit of feedback. So that's what the critiques are about. And so you'll cr create a critique video in Flipgrid for each one of the, the other students in your group and just give them a little bit of feedback. So that's the, that's the only other time we will be using Flipgrid. Um, and so, yeah, that's it. So back to um, probably the main uh, topic or activity rather for this week, and that is um, to actually create your own travel blog. And as you will see um, in the guidelines that you are um, able to use whatever format you want, such as Blogger, um, WordPress, um, Wix, you can use Wix to make a, um, a, or even Tumblr. And so all of these links here are, um, are tips on, like tips on creating travel blog, you see that, how to choose the best blog forum for you, um, how to create a blog. And then I have this video here, that's a video that I created just talking about setting up your travel blog and um, different options you might have, different things to think about. Um, and um, also I'm talking about um, for in terms of grading things I'm looking for like taking photos and including them in each one of your blog posts you an, an option is to add a short video and putting them in there um, links to resources so for example if you go on a local hike and you find a website that talks about that hike then um, in your blog post itself um, put that link um, generally for blogging for linking you don't just paste the URL, you select a, um, a couple words or a phrase. So if the name of the hike is like um, short run hike, then just select that those couple words and make that a link to the web page that talks more about um, or talks about the, the trail itself. So since we're do journalistic, we're doing travel reporting um, as journalists, um, you know, there is, you are, and, and you'll read, hear about this in the video, you are able to use the first person um, and give some subjective aspects. Like if you're eating food and you're doing a review, you have to say if you think it's good or not, right? Um, you have to give your own opinion, which is a little bit different than other um, types of journalism. But at the same time, you're giving facts and information so that if someone else wants to go to that beach or that hike or that museum, they can learn. First of all, you can tell them how to get there. And they can also have resources through links and things like that. Facts, so include facts um, on whatever the topic is, so that, that the reader is getting that information. Um, so it's not we're not doing memoirs. It's not like personal journaling and things like that. It's actually a, a more journalistic type writing. Um, although, like I said, it's a little bit different than than other types of journalism because you can use the first person and give your own subjective um, uh, viewpoint. Okay, so that's it for this first week. Um, email me is always the best way to get in contact with me. Um, I'm going to be doing a little bit of traveling too, but generally every um, day I check my email several times a day. And if I'm traveling, I might just give you a little bit of shorter response through my phone or something like that. If you want to call me, that's fine, but text me first because I, you know, I'm like probably most of you, if I get a call, um, sometimes my, my um, provider tells me it thinks it's spam or they don't know who the person is. Um, and so I might not pick that up. So you might want to text me first and say, hey, Professor Lilly, can I give you a call? And I'll text you back and say, sure, I'll be available at five or whatever it is. And then I'll expect, um, I'll, I'll know who's, who's calling from that phone number. And then we can also do um, a Zoom video kind of meeting. Uh, we just have to arrange it. So you just email me to do that. So I hope everybody enjoys this class and enjoys writing about the things you were doing this summer. Um, and again, email me if you have any questions. And so for this week, you're just getting into these uh, five tasks for, um, for week one. And keep in mind also um, that the first grade isn't until after um, you posted your first two blog posts. So your first two blog posts are, are July 31st. And um, before that, on the 28th, 
you will be giving feedback to your other members of your group and just saying, hey, I love the way you, you um, design your blog or I have an idea for or tweaking this aspect of the look and feel, whatever it is. Um, and then you'll have your first blog post um, actually posted by the 31st. So you have some days before I give you the actual grade. And so even though you only have one week to create the blog, you have more time after that to tweak it and, and make changes um, before it will be graded. Um, so this first deadline is just getting you going in this course because we only have six weeks and you really need to um, get your blog going uh, and because that's the main aspect of the course. So have a great week. If you have any questions, email me. And then, of course, as you move along, you'll be moving into week two where we'll have a, um, a group discussion and kind of research assignment where you're looking into what is travel blogging because obviously you kind of need to know what it is in order to do it. So have a great week.